I am making a 3D platformer game that focuses on melee combat and my main goal for this game is to make it fun. What the hell? But how does one go from this to something like this? Well, first of all, there are a lot of things that makes the game fun, but in today's video I'm going to focus on movement. Jump pads, grappling guns, rocket jumps, all of these fancy mechanics are great, but they are not gonna be fun anyway until I make the basic movement fun, like running and jumping. But how do I make that fun? I don't know the answer for that question myself, so I went to look for some games with good movement to take some inspiration from and ended up playing slash analyzing them, but mostly playing. And I was slightly surprised because there are some things that I have never noticed while playing first person video games, like moving the player up and down while running. We can even take for example Minecraft, you can see that the player camera is slightly going up and down when the player walks. It's even shaking left and right a little bit. You don't even notice it, but it makes this feeling like you're actually walking, not just sliding. And I would have probably never noticed that if I wouldn't go look for it. I obviously have to add that to my game, so I have taken the location of the player camera, then I have set two values, one which is the normal camera location and second which is slightly down. Then I have to interpolate between these two values within a time of let's say 0.4 seconds and curve like this that goes from 0 to 1 and then back to 0. 0 being the top location and 1 being the down location. Set it to loop and apply this animation of the camera going up and down only when the player moves forward, backward, left or right. And then disabling the loop every time the player stops moving so it doesn't loop forever. And this is how it looks like in the game. But that's not the only thing that makes a great movement. In some games, when the player moves left and right, the screen slightly rolls to the side of which the player is moving. I saw this game called Shady Knight, which makes really good use of this technique. The game feels really amazing to move in and I had really fun playing it, even though it's a short demo. There are more things that I have learned from this game, but for now, let me just implement this left and right movement. I'm gonna need to take the A and D keys and give them some values, then whenever the player presses one of them, I apply the value for that key to the controller rotation. And we should have this effect. Now I just have to make it smoother. Again I am gonna interpolate between these two values and it doesn't work. Ok, so I had to scratch my head on this one, but eventually got it working. Now in my last video, I have made this jump where the gravity doubles up after hitting the highest point of the jump to get rid of the floaty effect. Yes, this creates a better jumping, but it still doesn't fix the floatiness. So what I've done is that I have increased the gravity for the player and it finally doesn't feel like I'm jumping on the moon. Now another thing is that there is no impact when the player falls down. He basically just stops. But in other games, when the player falls, he does go down a little and then comes back to the original height. Just like in real life, you bend your knees when you fall. This wasn't that hard to implement, I have just did the thing with the player camera, just like I did with the walking, but this time it only happens when the player hits the ground, he will go down to that minimal value and then come back up. I have also made that when the player falls down from a greater height, he will get up in 0.8 seconds instead of 0.4 seconds like he normally does. Ok, now this looks like it's done and as much as I would want to say that, I can't. Because there is one more thing that I have to do before I can start making obstacles, levels and other much complex mechanics. And that's metrics. Like how far can the player jump? How high can the player jump? What is the max step height? What is the max slope angle? There are also things like player acceleration, braking friction or air control. And when I will start adding new mechanics like sliding and slide hopping, the player will be able to reach further distances. And for that it would be great to have some kind of outline for what the player can do and what not. So I have built this simple level where I can test the different mechanics and stuff like that. Yeah, now I'm really excited to do all of these mechanics. So I'm going to work on them, also maybe some animations and stuff like that. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, Patreon, you know what you gotta do, and I will update you in the next video.